So this is my video response to test number three. Um, discussion prompt number one. Discuss the impacts malaria and other diseases have on human society. Loaded question. Um, malaria, for one, it's a leading cause of death in developing countries. It's spread, excuse me. Oh. It's spread through mosquitoes. Um, it's actually a pretty devastating um, disease, to say the least. In 2019, almost 500,000 people died of malaria. Most of them were young kids, which makes sense because they don't have that great of an immune system yet. Malaria is gonna occur more, mostly in poor tropical areas of the world. And in, in many countries, it's the leading cause of death and illness, like I said. Um, the second part to that question, let me move my phone so I can see it. List and describe three actions you would take to reduce the disease threats to human health. Should a vaccination be mandatory? So the first part of the second part of the question, that didn't make any sense, but oh well. List and describe three actions you would take to reduce the disease. For one, education. Educate the people of these underdeveloped countries of what malaria is and how devastating it can be. Obviously, they probably already know, like we watched in that video in class, that malaria is a killer, but they they live with it anyways. Makes no sense to me, but at the same time, we're blessed to not be in their shoes. And we deal with it, but not on the scale that they do. So number one would definitely be education. Uh, two would be better living conditions. Obviously, that's a loaded statement. You can't just magically just make everything in those developing countries like America or any other developed countries. But I would say better better living conditions for one. That'd be my second. And the third... Uh, the third would probably just be maybe cleanliness or a vaccination, probably. Just being able to take care of your health through a vaccination, medicine, or whatever the case may be. And that also leads me into the last part of the question that says, should a vaccination be mandatory? And absolutely not. We should never... No medicine should ever be mandatory if we're talking about the United States, but whatever those develop, developing countries seem fit for their people, um, that's all that matters. Um, sorry, I got a phone call. Um, but whatever those developing countries see fit for their people, that's all that matters. But if we're talking about the United States or just in general, I don't personally believe any medicine or vaccine should be ever be mandatory because for one yes what is it technically worth it in the long run yes but at the same time you don't know how everyone's going to react to a vaccination or whatnot how it's going to make them feel it's ultimately should be their choice but yes a vaccination would be very beneficial for malaria but not to be forced number two discuss the lethal gift of livestock Lethal gift of livestock, the best that I can describe it is basically germs being transmitted to an animal for to an animal, and they could also be turned around and transmitted right back to humans. Um, describe the pathogens and define the term zoonotic. Zoonotic. Don't know the word, but I know what it means. The pathogens just microbes germs pretty much short and simple and then zoonic or however you say it zoonic is any kind of disease that can be transmitted from animal back to human or whatever the case may be humans to animal animal to human that's a zoonic disease and it's pretty common actually uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages to human society? Society. Um, 
I don't think there'd be much advantages of a lethal gift of livestock. Um, I don't know, maybe build immunity with animals, but that doesn't seem like an advantage. Um, I would, I see, I see most disadvantages to human society, if I'm being completely honest. No one, obviously there's so much money that goes into livestock and cleanliness. It's a big deal, right? You don't want, you don't want to be losing cattle or any livestock for that matter to diseases. So there's a lot of disadvantages that you can have on human society, such as losing, losing money from livestock being killed by it and disadvantage of losing money to selling um, meats or whatever to um, wholesalers or whatever the case may be. But just off the top of my head and off of the notes that I've made, the di one of the di just disadvantages in general would just be just the fact that you're losing animals and that's all, that's really probably the biggest one. Um, number three, discuss some ways to reduce the amount of plastics being deposited in the world's oceans. Oh boy, is there a ton of things you could do different. It seems like every year in school, since sophomore year of high school, this has been a question in a very passionate thing, talks amongst professors and teachers and students. It's a big deal, especially in our generation. Um... One thing that we could do is reduce the practice, uh, the amount of plastic we use in general. Plastic grocery shopping bags, plastic straws, plastic cups, plastic water bottles. And just reduce the whole entire production of plastic. We rely so we there's people you look in college. There's people that use plastic silverware, plastic forks, whatever the case may be, because they don't want to wash their silverware. It's lazy. We've re, we have come into our population as a, as a whole and as a society relies way too much on plastic. And if we can just reduce that, the amount of plastic pollution in the oceans would dramatically go down. But we got to get there first. What concerns do I have about pollution? Uh, for one, I don't want to be eating fish or anything, drinking water that has been polluted by uh, plastic. Um, that's one concern. Two is the cleanup and what's it what it's doing to our oceans and not even to our oceans but to the world as a whole um that's a huge concern you look at pictures and it's like oh my lord like it's like it's, it's literally like our world is turning into the movie wally with tr trash everywhere and then we're going to turn into fat people hovering in little whatever they're hovering in but that's kind of what it reminds me of and it's kind of concerning <sighs> Oh, I missed half of that. What concerns do you have on about pop, pop, pollution, both solid waste? You can see the things you can't cross. Yeah, I pretty much just answered the whole thing right there. It's just, there's so many concerns, like, like I said about our agriculture and the aquaculture, I think is what we called it in class. That's gonna, that's a huge concern. And then obviously, just the massive amount of plastic in the ocean and on the land. We don't, I'm, that's just a huge concern. It has to go, that has to be stopped. So anyways, that's my exam three video response.